Dad, wake up. It's a cup of tea. Why oh, do I always have to do the dishes? It's your turn, Nigel, but you just never get round to it. Last weekend. I did every dish in the house, Amber. Yeah, I was last weekend. Dishes just don't do themselves. What is it the Liberty's turn to do, then? I've been the house husband for the last two months now. I need a break. Oh, a sport routine. Missing that sales girl, are we? Not that again. I was not having an affair. Even if I was, she'd be the last person I'd be doing it with. Oh, here we go again, the Saturday morning growl. What is it with you, Mum? Premenstrual. Don't you start liberty. Don't you have somewhere to be? No, I don't have any friends since none of them are good enough for you. Oh, great. Who's not alienate this time? Well, how about Mark, my boyfriend? He thinks you're a snob. You were supposed to cover the last three instalments, Nigel? No. I was laid off, remember? The job didn't come with severance pay. You were supposed to cover the gap. I got fired yesterday. What? This is crazy. We can't pay anything. Oh, it was only part-time. You need to get a job right now. You try finding work around here these days. Why don't we just take off somewhere? Find work where we can. I want better house. It's going to happen. It will be put up for sale. We have a tent, don't we? We can live in that. We can't go camping forever. We need a plan. Let's just take off for the summer. Find our jobs on our travels. Well, where will we go? We can't just drop out. I'd love to go back to summer mild haunts from the 90s. Do you remember Scotland? Free love, lots of dope, no mortgage. Those were the days. Get real! How are we going to pay the bills? Oh, come on. Didn't you dream about running a crafts business once? What about Liberty? If we tell her we're taking off for the whole summer, she'll stop us from going. We'll tell her we're taking off for two weeks and leave it at that. It's not going to work. It'll all work out. It's just for the summer, right? Liberty! What now? I'll get Dad. Don't tell me you finally decided to divorce. No, actually, it's nothing to do with divorce. You're not going to like this, but the house has been repossessed. My God, when did this happen? This morning, I got a letter. Well, what are you, we, going to do? We've decided to take a break to think of what to do next. Well, I don't fancy that. I'll go and stay with Adeline. She's a good listener. Is this going to happen this weekend? Yes. Oh, we have a lot of thinking to do. Where are we going? We'll be camping. <laughs> Living in a tent? I don't think so. I'm not doing it. You have no choice. You can't stay here. We could be away two weeks. Two weeks? You're lying to me. No, I'm staying with Mark. Mark? Over my dead body. Well, what are you going to do about it? He loves me. You don't. Liberty, you have to come with us. No, I'm not going. I'm packing your suitcase. No, Mum, please, please, look, I'm 17, it's not fair, please. I can't, I can't leave you here on your own. I'll make sure Liberty doesn't get into trouble, won't I, darling? You two take off. Are you sure, Dad? Will you stay here with her? Well, who's going to cook for me? I'll go between the two of them. Adeline isn't the most patient of people, and neither is Liberty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Do you remember when Adeline cut all my shirts up? Don't want to outstay my welcome. Yeah, so can I stay with Mark when Grandad stays with Adeline? No! Amber, you sort her out.
See ya. You got far too much stuff as usual, Mum. Tilly! I uh, just wonder if Liberty can stay in yours for a couple of days. Can Liberty come and stay with us for a few days? What's wrong with the balls this time? Have they finally divorced? Dad, just get it quickly before she changes her mind. I'll be fine, just go and have a break. I'll call you. I got a feeling Gonna have my wishes all come true And everybody's gonna see me I don't think either of them will miss us. We'll say. I don't know how long but I know I'll get there soon Everybody's gonna find their way Following the shadow of the moon I see the road And I know That there's something special waiting for me I see down that hill And I will I'm looking forward to getting there get the Maybe I could dreams, look into that past business There's nothing stopping us from doing whatever we want Scotland! Here we come! I want you to take a deep breath in of that beautiful, nourishing air. Take it all the way inside you. And now reach up. Reach up to the sky. Reach up to the gods. And grab hold of some of that positive energy. I'm feeling it, baby. Oh, good. And now I want you to bring that energy back down to Earth and direct it to the person that you love. That's me, baby. You better believe it. Mm. Hope you don't mind us crashing in on you like this. Well, there's no trespass laws in Scotland, so I couldn't stop you even if I wanted to. You travel far? London. Ah, hear that crystal all the way from London? London, huh? You're better off out of that warren of thieves and robbers. Are you running away? I lost my job. House is being repossessed, you know. Come to find yourself, eh? Think things through. Is that the missus? Yeah. You don't mind if we pitch our tent over there, do you? We don't mind. He doesn't like strangers much, though. It's just for tonight. We'll find somewhere else tomorrow. Just my name. I know this is not something you're used to, but come and have some dinner with us anyway. Uh, no, we're fine, thanks. Well, don't be stiff with us. This isn't London anymore. Okay. <laughs> you know, all right. Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks. You know, when you've been in the army, you learn to eat when you're hungry. Crystal here's a food guru. Likes everything just perfect. I'm just fussy. <laughs> no, love. You're perfect in all the right places.
no, thank you. Hey, we're off on your hospitality. Don't turn your nose up, babe. Hey, well, it's not her scene. She's a house mom. She's reactionary, I can tell. They're strangers. They could be coppers. Calm down. I tried a cigarette when I was young. It made me sick. Yeah. We're here to sort out our lives. We don't want to mess up yours. What's well, me who'll be doing the messing up if you cross a line, OK? Have a talk on that, Jim. That shrapnel's making us you short tempers again. And it's no the shrapnel. Every time I say something you don't like, you say it's the shrapnel. You're an idiot. Relax, Awol. Take a chill pill. Why don't you play us some music? Right. Desertion. Finished a tour of the Middle East. Never went back. Awol. Absent without leave. They're still looking for him. He's still looking for himself. I was with him in Iraq. When he was selling gear to the squaddies. One day, we're up for an inspection. He hid his drugs in my locker. I got called marshaled. Why do you put up with him? We served together, and he did save my life. I almost stepped on an IUD. Jim saw it, knocked me sideways. Look at above, Connor. We should really put the tent up. Yeah, in a couple of minutes. You know, this place is a refuge for hippies, dropouts, and ex-army dudes like me. It's wilderness. Symbolizes the freedom of the minds. Love and peace, man. A gypsy fortune teller told him he was the reincarnation of John Lennon. That's right. John wants me to spread his message of love and peace. I mean, that gypsy fortune teller might have been kidding, but I like to keep to John's ways as much as I can. Yeah, it's a shame about your army days then, maiming and killing. At least he's not a deserter, like AWOL. You two better keep quiet about me. We're not going to snitch on anyone. We're homeless and penniless. We need all the friends we can get. All you need is love. We'll love you, if you love us. You make that sound so easy. It is, with practice. Yeah, lots of practice. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Getting into a bit of loving. Love away then. Can I have some scrambled eggs? Yeah, great. First, I'm going to make you a coffee. You're not yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> loving. It'll all come back to me eventually. I'm worried about Liberty. I feel like we've abandoned her. She's a good girl. She'll be loving it. She'll be fine. 
No, she won't. You're always wrong about liberty. Liberty would be miserable here. Can't we find a proper place to camp? Don't lose heart, Amber. It's nice here. I can't get a signal. What if she's trying to call us? You can't expect things to work up here like they do in London. Give it time. How much time? Till we stop being urbanised. Urbanised? We are worse than that, Nigel. We are positively metrosexual. Do you know, I've never really understood what that means. Useless. Metrosexual means we are useless at everything except riding trains and drinking cappuccinos. There's nothing like the smell of burnt sausage in the morning. I think you need to give them a bit of your loving. Yeah, I think you're right. This is the special crowning place of the Scots from the 6th to 11th century. That's the footprint of St. Columba. Give me your hands. Do you feel the force, the cosmic energy? Okay, you try. Fresh air is nice, isn't it, Amber? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These stones are 3,000 years old. Some say it is a temple or a special place of healing. Wash. Water below. Can't feel this, Amber. <laughs> no, not working. This come is here, creepy. Come here, come here. Right, okay. Put your arms out straight. That's it. Stones have a magnetic energy feeding from Earth. They create ley lines. The stones then transfer the Earth's magnetism into the dowsing rod. Far out, man. This is serious stuff. You sound like a drugged up old hippie, Nigel. 
Uh, I'm not sure about the drugged up part. An old hippie fits. I'm a shaman with the powers of the eagle and the strength of the drum. Magnify the vibrations from below and the energies radiating from above. The world of nature directs the spiritual paths of mankind. The vibrations heal us, make us one with the universe. There's all thing I'm a bit strange around here. dying for a cappuccino since I woke up this morning. You should check yourself into a spiritual retreat. Get off caffeine. More new age philosophy? Well, what do you have in mind? Well, for a start, you need to loosen up. Get in touch with your inner self. I'll introduce Amber to the uh, wags. They're well-meaning mainstream liberals. And who are they exactly? The Wind Farm Action Group. Wax, for short. I thought you meant footballers' wives. Need the bouffant hair, the red lips, Essex accents. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you staying all the day or what? really move from here, Nigel. We're in with a bunch of weirdos. I mean, Jet is sweet in a creepy sort of way. But... Oh my God. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. They're at it again. Oh. I wish I had half his stamina. It must be the energy he gets from those stones. You're just out of practice, darling. Maybe I could get in practice. I really think I could make a jewellery business work here. That's my old amber. Now you're talking. Am I really that old? You're perfect. Now you are starting to sound like Jet. <laughs> I love you, Amber. Oh, Nigel, you always say that when you want sex. I'd be very careful about the stones, and particularly the wind farms. They're part of the alien mind control conspiracy. When you're ready for it, the stones will give you the energy you need. Yeah, sure thing, I will. We keep an eye out for that. You should visit some of the other spiritual places around here, like Tiernan Oak. Lots of loving there. Yeah? You want to go? 
No, I'm not doing anything else. Amber? Okay. Right. Let's go. Are you coming, Crystal? No. I'm all loved up for today. You go. See you later. Good to see you again, Dream Catcher. I'll miss your kisses. <sighs> oh, Jet, the things I remember about you. <laughs> you on your way to Tiernagnog? Yeah, I've got some new lovebirds with me. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Thought I'd introduce them to the group. Are you going to leave them there? They're down on the loving. They're a bit too uptight to stay for too long. Can I get a lift? You don't mind, dear. I mean, she is one of my oldest friends. I'll bet she is. Don't be frightened. They're going to do something to us like in the Wicker Man. I'm so glad you're here. It's Ali 
No. It's for Pete's sake. Ganja, the fruit of gods. Man must attain his natural state before he can traverse into enlightenment and maturity that comes with love. If you can't beat the drum with him, join him. My dad always used to say, life is a bowl of cherries. You take the good ones with the bad. Now, take my uncle. He always said I should focus. Focus on a trade, a vocation. Something where I can Put back into life what I've taken out of it. But I'm really sorry. I haven't found it. I just keep searching and I seem to be getting deeper and deeper into the morass of my own making. I mean, I really don't know what life's about. That is the first Half-decent piece of sense I've heard from you in ages, Nigel. I mean, it's time you woke up and saw the stars. There's a whole universe passing you by. The Earth, particles, quantum mechanics, time and space. As Douglas Adams put it, life the universe, and everything. We are all part of the greater being in the cosmos. Tell it how it is, sister. Are you feeling all right, love? I want to run naked through field. What? I want to run naked through a field. I was hoping to make it up with him, that's why I didn't want to go with Mum and Dad. Oh, stuff him! I think you should go to Scotland and get over him. Hello? I've put Liberty on the train to Scotland. Oh, what happened? The boyfriend trouble. Go easy on her. Thanks, Dad. Well? Don't say anything to Liberty about this. She's on her way up on the train. What? Oh, Nigel, you're such a useless father. Start the car.
take liberties to see the stones. Not ideal for a 17 year old, but better than hanging out around here getting a high on dope. Exactly. I agree. I'm not moved today. I'm embarrassed. He won't say anything to Liberty. I don't care. Liberty? Yes. Get your things together. We're moving. What? Yep. Only just got here. You haven't even said good morning. Morning. Ah! Liberty. Moving on. Yeah, the kid. Restless, you know. Are you sure? Yeah. Standing stones are Neolithic temples to the sun, the most ancient monuments in Britain. These stones go way back 3,000 years before Christ. Almost as old as you then, Dad. <laughs> what are the stones actually used for, Mum? Well, your dad thinks it's a place of healing. I think it's a burial site. The stones are directly aligned to the sun at the summer solstice. You sound like a hippie, Dad. Oh, I'm not that old. Your granddad was a hippie. Really? Yeah, he used to take me around to festivals when I was a baby. The Stones were the focus for free music festivals in the 70s. Um, aren't you talking about the Rolling Stones? Stonehenge Liberty? It was a movement of peace and love. It wasn't all about drugs. Oh, come on, Nigel. Now, don't make fun of it. It was important. You're just playing at it. Lighten up, Amber. I'm just trying to have a bit of fun. I'm Hawkeye, Prince of the Forest. This is my pitch. But I'll let you have it for tonight. Hawkeye, Prince of the Forest. We'll bear that in mind, won't we, Liberty? Oh, hello. Uh, Mum, this is Hawkeye, Prince of the Forest. Would you like to eat with us? Well, thank you. TV. We've got a radio. Pick your station. Do you know of any supermarkets nearby? It's Tesco's, Asda. Four miles down the road. Bread, potatoes, milk, that sort of thing. We're running low on bread and milk. Can't I go in the morning? Fancy some acid? Er, uh, 
No, thank you. <laughs> Good ass, it's a rare thing to come by these days. I remember Operation Julie when they busted that acid ring in Wales. You don't look old enough to remember that. Test your memory. Mm -hmm. You remember the day they closed the Stonehenge Free Festival back in 84? Yes, the Battle of Beanfield. When the police cleared the protesters off the stones. Well, what were they to do? If the travellers had carried on the way they were, there'd be no Stonehenge left by now. You've got a bad memory, man. I was there. The fuzz set out to stop us peace lovers enjoying ourselves. They wanted to stop the young and the free from gathering together. It was totalitarianism. Yeah, a total waste of time. <laughs> the revolution never happened and we're still waiting for it to happen. <laughs> what year were you born? 1974. And you've got a kid that age? Oh, uh, we met at school, we got married young. You missed out on being young. When I was younger, we liked cool things. Vinyl records, jeans, <laughs> platform shoes. There were times when peace and love couldn't compete with materialism. But having a kid, when you're still a teenager, that just ain't cool, is it? No. Amber, what are you saying? Well, I am four years younger than you. I did have liberty when I was 18. There are things I never got to do, things I wanted to, but couldn't. Like what? Sleep with other boys. <sighs> Sounds like you two are suffering from arrested development. I'm certainly not. Well, I certainly am. It's been great shooting the turkey, Lydia. Yeah, right. Look after the babe. My daughter? You wife, man! She's hot. He's off quickly. He didn't say goodbye to me. He didn't miss anything. Oh, no. What's up now? We've got no milk. You go in the shop. So much for love and peace. He just stole our last 20 quid. What? Oh. I can't find the keys. <sighs> well, I've got 50 pounds in my bank account. Not much use, darling. If we can't find the car keys. Look, why don't you two go to the shop and I'll carry on looking for the keys? It's four miles. I'll pick you up when I find them. And what if you don't? You can hitchhike. Oh. Come on out, lad. Come on, Liberty. We're walking. No. Mum, this is ridiculous. Dad, you're so stupid. Everything you do is useless. I'm sick of you. Don't call me stupid. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here. Oh, yeah, that's right, Dad. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. See you later. any cars in Scotland? Have you seen any petrol stations?
Have you found them yet? No. But I'll find them. I swear, you've done this deliberately. Well, if you want your dinner, you better find them, because we're not moving until you come to pick us up. Are you being serious? Yeah. Nigel, you really gotta stop pulling your weight. You gotta send to this mess, it's time you got us out of it. Wait a minute. The mortgage was in our joint names. I'll tell you what's not fair. It's about time I got to do something I wanted to do with my life. Like make silly jewellery? Yeah. Silly or no, yes I do. It's my dream. What's yours, Nigel? A pie with the pie? Yeah, Mum's got a point, Dad. You're lazy, you never clean up after yourself, and you expect everyone else to do it for you. You've got no ambition. Well, what's wrong with that? I mean, my dad was very driven about his job, and it sent him to an early grave. I think ambition's a bad thing. No! Having no ambition is worse. You need some direction, you just can't keep drifting. OK, I get the point. Look, we didn't get ourselves into this position, Dad. Homeless, penniless, it's all your fault. The company went bankrupt. It's the times we live in. We never owned our own home. We were only renting it off the bank. Everybody agrees that banks ruin our lives. This is a chance for a new life. Just put some conviction into it, will you, Nigel? I really don't believe that you mean that. I am so annoyed with you, Dad. You've messed up so big this time. You know, I can forgive you for all the useless Christmas presents you've got me over the years, but not this. This is worse than being deleted from Facebook. Oh, your computer, darling. Do you want to see if you can get it online? Oh, yeah. Not out here, Amber. Where's the wireless network? You're doing it again, Nigel. Here, watch a DVD. Plug into the car. You can watch a film after you've peeled the potatoes. That's rich coming from you. Mum, don't start. I'm sorry. It's like we're back at home, fall into the old routine. Oh, don't be ridiculous. We've got to get back on track here. Just give it time. Let's have a holiday first. This is not a holiday. Is it liberty? No, Mum, it's not. This is the rest of our lives. Bad sausages. Look at what a great day it is. We're so lucky to be alive. Well, I'm glad you're cheerful about something. There's supposed to be a special temple site around here, a place with tombstones from the Middle Ages. Like the Da Vinci Code? Cool. So, Mum, tell me about this free love thing. Did Grandad follow it when he went to festival? <laughs> it wasn't really like that. Free love is such a bad name for it. We just had several different partners. To be honest, they argued a lot because they were jealous of each other. It didn't really work. I was going to try it. Then I met your mum and fell in love. So that was the end of that. Amber gave lots of free love to me. So I didn't need it from anyone else. That's his story.
love and peace from the bottom of my heart. This is amazing, guys. Thank you so much. We are saying a big no to them spoiling our beautiful countryside with their wind farm. Hey! What's happening? The wind farm company's back in town, so we're organizing a welcoming committee. I didn't think you'd be back, mate. Well, we're totally broke. We've got no money, nowhere to go. We can't go back to our old lives. What about you, Amber? I want to make a go of it with this jewelry crafts business. I've got my tackle with me. Do you know where I can sell it? There are loads of tourist places. They buy it by the bucket. You want any good with your hands? Why? How about you join our wind farm action group? Are you going to protest? Well, if I can smash a few windows and do a bit of looting, I'm in. Woo! Liberty! Oh, Mum, I was joking. God, why are parents so serious all the time? Mum, I think you should run through a field naked or something. <laughs> <laughs> Teenagers. Happy one moment, angry the next. Mm. Do you want to show me your materials? Yeah. Need more beads and fixings. Well, I know where you can get those. My name's Crystal, remember? Your dad a hippie too. My mom. Dragged around every festival and fair on the west coast. You too? Yep. So? How are the group? All right for homeless people. Some folks don't have a choice, Liberty. If we were back at home, we'd be in a grotty bed and breakfast by this time next month, and your father would be claiming income support. At least this way we've made a choice. And what about my school, Mum? <laughs> we've got the whole summer to sort that out. <laughs> You'd only one more year left anyway. Just try making friends here. <laughs> friends with a bunch of low-life hippies, are you joking me? Don't be so prejudiced, Liberty. You must not judge a book by its cover. They are people just like you and me. Just because they don't have a house does not make them bad people. They've just chosen a different life, that's all. Well, I miss my friends, Mum. Jilly, Grandad, even Mark. You'll make new friends, Liberty. You'll see. If this fails, we'll starve. You won't starve. Good evening. Thank you for coming tonight. The Wind Farm Company, AMEG, have organised a meeting with the Parish Council next week. They want to put up 20 80 metre high turbines. No! No! No, no. no way! That's ridiculous! No. We need to take direct action. Yeah. Vandalise a few things. No! We must do no such thing. We must put the matter to the vote. Take it to the vote! We need a vote! No. vote. No. No. action. Everybody's doing it these days. Voting's just a waste of time. Calm down, Jim. It was over, mate. They will certainly put the wind up then. Yeah. Well, it's an emotive subject, Nigel. Certainly is. It makes London look like holiday camp. Hi, I'm Angus. Liberty. Do you tweet? 
No. Um, my phone doesn't work and I've got no internet. Well, I can fix that for you. Oh, really? <laughs> It's all fixed. A few of the wags will be caught red handed. Vandals, eh? <laughs> You'll get your planning permission for a hundred turbines. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Dad, it's great to see you. How did you find us? Liberty. <laughs> I've got my savings books with me. It's time I did something good with my life. Glad to help out, Amber. I'm not abandoning you in my old age. Hello? Mr. Williams. How are things at the bank? I need you to come in and sign off the repossession papers, Mr. Paul. Um, I'm not available today. Can you come and see me tomorrow? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll call you back, yeah? Hello? Hello? Problems, mate. That's an understatement. What kind of work can I get round here? Well, not much, except uh, maybe if I'm labouring. Well, if I have to do it, I will. It's not easy work, mind. I mean, uh, your muscles will be sore for a week. Well, Amber's making an effort, so I don't want to be seen to be letting her down. Hmm. Not with her old man watching, eh? Exactly. Hello, Bill. My friend here was wondering if you had any work for him. Aye, I could be doing me a hand, to be honest. Looks a bit of a townie, does he not? Oh, he's as keen as mustard. I mean, he'll not let you down. I tell you what, if you can start the now, I'll, uh, I'll give you £35 a day. That's in your hand, mind. It's a deal. Follow me then. Let's get started. Crops are up here.
Hey, I've got myself a job. What? I might have one on the farm for you two, Liberty. Uh, I'm helping Mum with the jewellery. Oh, come on, you can do both. When I was half your age... Nope. They have child labour laws now. I'm a kid. You treat me like one, so I'm staying one. Where's your dad? Thought it best to stay in a bed and breakfast. Why? Because he's old and needs his comforts. I wanted us to be a family. We are. Yeah, we are, Dad. You're not. Come on. We've got to get some more if we're going to try to sell them. Bitten off more than we can chew, have we? No, actually, we're doing just fine here. Where are you going to sell these silly items? In local villages and open, of course, anywhere that there are tourists. What, and you sure they'll buy this stuff? Yeah. I just had to kiss me. He's bad news. Do you want to come in? Nigel, you've really got to stop pulling your weight. Oh. It's not a holiday, Nigel. It's Sunday. It doesn't work Sundays. Abel's up to something with those wind farm people. I heard him talking on the phone to the boss of Amec. He must be an agent provocateur. I heard about that on the news. Something about police plants targeting green supporters, right? Sounds like it. We'll let Wag know. He'll end up in jail. You think so? What are you doing today? You want to do something? <laughs> Why not? My parents can stew for a while. They need to grow up. Thanks. It's a funny lot around here. I expect in their time off they wear pagan outfits and dress up as sun worshippers like in the Wicker Man. <laughs> Little do you know, there is actually a white witch's coven right here to keep dark forces <laughs> at bay. <laughs> Hey, you better not be spitting that here. This is your space. Where's your guest I spit? You put it anywhere near me and you're dead, mate. I am not your mate. You guys should clear off before I clear you off. He's right, Nigel. We should be leaving. Liberty! She's away into town. She's down like Master Chief. You what? You didn't touch her, did you?
It's Bill. You know it's the Sabbath, don't you? There's no work in the Sabbath. Bill, we've been moved on. Do you mind if we pitch our tent over there? I'll tell you what, you come and work for me at 7am every morning. I won't charge his rent. Okay. I'll see you in the morning then. Thank you. She hasn't called me. Well, I'll try it again. Let's not be hasty. She says Liberty got on the bus to open. I think she's got a boyfriend. Quick work, eh? She gets her loving streak from me. Is that right? Well, you're the advocate of free love, Nigel. Some people talk about it. In my day, we did it. gonna miss the last bus. Oh. My dad's gonna kill me. Ah! Hi. Oh, hi. Jet sent me over to see how you're getting on. I hear you had some trouble with Awan. Yeah. Don't worry, Nigel. Jet's taking care of him. Uh, he worries me sick. Mm, yeah, the villagers are worrying about him too. They think he should be locked up in a mental hospital. Dad! Oh. What are you doing? Keep him fit. Dad? What star sign are you from, darling? I'm Aquarius. Great. I love Aquarians. <laughs> you got family around here? Yeah, my brother's in the army. He's serving in Afghanistan. No war can be justified. Violence against innocent people. Terror bombings in the name of religion, I ask you. So we can drop out of the whole arms race any time we want. Oh, right on, Michael. You're my kind of man. <laughs> oh, right. I'm off. See you, everyone. See you, Michael. You staying for dinner? Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Oh, I don't see how you two can carry on as normal. I'm off to find Liberty. She doesn't even know we've moved. Nigel! When's he going to lose his hump? I don't know. Mr. Williams? Hello? Uh, Mr. Poole, I've tried reaching you all day. Sorry, I meant to get back to you, but... My, my daughter's rung off and I'm, I'm looking for her right now. I hope that's not another excuse, Mr. Poole. I need you to sign off the papers. I'll call you tomorrow. Hello? Hello? It's not like it is in London here. Everybody helps each other out. That's the way I brought you up, Amber. Somehow you lost track of that along the way. Why do you say that? Oh, you and Nigel, getting into all that keeping up with the Joneses stuff. Did we? I don't think money's the problem. It's what you do with it that's the problem. People talk about ending famine and war, but they don't do anything about it. 
I mean, we're not politicians, but we can make a difference by the way we think and by example. One strong stand for peace is more powerful than a hundred politicians or an army of 10,000 soldiers. Oh, I wish you were right, Dad. Dropping up doesn't make any difference. Politicians will go on fleecing us and lying to us. You OK? You're pushing on 70. Might need a rest. Politicians are useless. <laughs> and as for soldiers, most of them join up to get away from something else. So they're only dropouts of a different sort. God, I must get a grip. I'm talking like a Nazi. <laughs> I don't have the answers. I mean, we need the army to defend us from mad people, so I'm defeating my own argument. You OK, Dad? So I'll get you checked up. I think you're right. Michael? It's me and Dad's phone. He's had a heart attack. He's in the hospital. Nigel, are you okay? Nigel. I'm really sorry, Anne, but I've been a right ass. It's all right. It's been a difficult time, Nigel. I love you. Me too. I mean, I love you too. And Liberty, you're my whole world. And your dad? Is he going to be OK? I think he's stable. I really like the old sod, but he just drives me potty. He drives us all potty. Just come here, will you? Yep. I'm on my way. I suppose I should contact my mum and dad. Uh. Oh, God. I think I've left my phone on the bus. I'd give you mine, but the battery's gone. Oh, what am I going to do? Uh. I don't want to go back to the camp with that creep there. Stay at mine. <laughs> Not really a good idea with my dad the way he is. You're 17. They should trust you by now. Fine. But then you can walk me back in the morning. How's Liberty going to find us? Don't worry, I'll find her. That AWOL's trying to set us up. Blame us for his acts of vandalism. We should get the police to catch him in the act. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. We should try. Woo! Why didn't you call? I lost my phone. 
It's my fault. I fell asleep. I was going to walk her back to the camp. Or are you staying at the travellers' camp? We were. Look, Dad, don't be angry, OK? We didn't do anything wrong. I didn't want to take Liberty back to the camp because of AWOL. Oh, you'll be talking about James Begg. <laughs> He's known to us. He tried to kiss me, then, then he threatened me. I see. Well, if you'd like to make a charge against him, I'll get my colleague to pick him up. Well, we don't want any trouble, do we, Dad? No. Uh, what's your address, please, sir? Mr. Morrison's vegetable patch. I'm sorry about going to Oban without telling you. I'm sorry about how you are. I should have strangled him. Your dad gave my right thump in. So glad you're back. Is Grandad going to die? I hope not. Too much change for him at his age. She's right, Nigel. Things will work out. We'll find a house for him to live in. Oh, yeah, but what about us? You can't just cut our old life off, you know? It's hard, I know, but we have to try something new. Don't fight it, Liberty. Dad, you're just saying that to keep the peace. Look, just admit it. You don't know what's going to happen, do you? She's right, Nigel. We need to start making plans here. We need to find you a new school, a home, friends. OK, I hear you. I'm not a rocket scientist. I can't just wave a wand and make it all happen. No, right, but you could admit that you were wrong in just upping sticks and moving off like this. It's not right. You're supposed to be the adult, the responsible one of the family, but you're not. You're just a child. Yeah, and you're a nagging old woman. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> That's enough now, Liberty. We've caught you in ten. I'm an army deserter. I want to be caught. Those muscles of yours haven't been used in years, Nigel. It's only your second week. I'll get used to it. I'm taking a break. She's taking this hard. She thinks we've gone down in the world. The way I see it, we've gone up in it. In a spiritual way, I mean. You're still in denial about a lot of things. You mean the affair I was having with the sales ledger girl? You imagine that? I've always been faithful to you, Amber. Men never do have affairs officially, but there are always those little signs. Not with me, Amber. It's always been you. I shan't be able to do the things I used to do anymore. What, like chase women? Well, fewer, anyway. <laughs> You're still alive. That's the main thing. Can you get me out of here? Problem is, we don't have a home for you yet. Well, I don't mind living in the tent. Find someone to share with. What, like Dreamcatcher? Hmm. She brought the flowers. You're such an old devil! Well, I've got my reputation to think of. And me comforts. <laughs> <laughs> what if we don't sell anything? We'll sell. You must believe. <laughs> what, I see the cosmic om and all that. Well, I think it's more finite than that. What you put into something, you get out of it. OK, I'm off to see the sights. I assume you're playing for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. That remains to be seen. Scram. Hello. Mr. Williams? We put your house up for auction. For auction? How long have we got? A few weeks. A few weeks? I can't believe you guys. The system's screwed, man. The banks own everything. I need to find us somewhere to live. Crystal's uncle owns a farm. I think he's got a cottage for rent. Could be a start. 
I'm not suited to farm work. You just pay the rent. You don't have to work for him. Could even apply for housing benefits. I don't want state charity. It would help, though, until you get on your feet. I'll think about it. Grace? Cottage sounds good, though. Grace? You want uh, help with the first month's rent? Thanks, Jet, but we'll manage. Nigel, the power of capitalism is that one person needs another to make money. I wish it was all about love and peace, but money does make the world go round. I thought you'd be into bartering and stuff. Cash is king. Besides, lots of poverty around these days. It's hard to keep eternally optimistic. And I'm not so sure life is all about being happy all the time. How would we know happiness if we didn't know sadness? The eternal paradox of life. Money is part of that paradox. Having too much of it or too little is part of our happiness. It's the glue that binds us together. It's those wanting it all themselves that are the problem, not the dispossessed like AWOL. Yeah, right on, man. Long live the revolution, man. Absolutely. Six hundred and thirteen pounds. That's an amazing amount. It would have taken me three weeks to earn that at the bookshop. Well, I told you we'd sell around here. It's a pilgrimage for some folk. Well, thank you to them. Well done, Amber. I'm really proud of you. Can you give this to your uncle as a deposit on the cottage? I'm sure it will be fine. I mean, don't you want to see it first? I know it will be lovely. Well, that's settled then. We're moving out the tent. <laughs> what do you think, Liberty? Well, as long as Angus can visit. Dad? Well, he seems like a nice boy. What, you mean you actually like him? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's toast to our new life. You can have it, Mr Williams. Lock, stock and barrel. I intend to do just that, Mr Paul. Sign here. You never need to think about it again. Do you know, you're doing me the biggest favour of my life. A better than a old place. <sighs> Love it. Could only have dreamed of this in London. I'd love for you to get a proper job. You're ruining your hands. I'm happy. If something comes along, I'll just go with the flow. Come here.
I haven't been on a bike like this since 1969. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. It'll be like a new start for everyone.